All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechavadash. Double honors to the apostles and the others, great millstone who were well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, you brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. No, you see, sincere Akim out there pushing, teaching his truth. So, this is going to be a response to a response as you can see here the title is my response Zelda Apostle Har vocab alone page GMS Cleveland a visit you know and I watched the whole the whole video or at least uh, I, I watched this whole video and I watched about maybe about an hour into uh, the actual live camp from the Cleveland brothers you know I plan on finishing that Lord willing soon. However, um, this right here is a clear example of the heathen trying to frustrate the building of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You see, you can clearly see uh, confusion and, and, and just disorderly conduct from these supposed men. You know, you know what the scriptures say. You know, we're not supposed to interrupt a, uh, a man. In the midst of his uh, speech Right But they were constantly Cutting cutting uh, brothers off Jumping in Trying to uh, uh, ask random questions You know Trying to uh, speak over the brothers While the um, you know, when, when the scriptures was, was coming out It was very out of order But these brothers here These Cleveland brothers They held, you know, they held their ground You see they held their ground through the spirit. So these heathen, especially this 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 guy, uh, vocab Malone, right? We know his real name. He's the main frustrator <laughs> sent by uh, whoever to try and frustrate the 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 movement of of the Israelites. But you can't you can't hinder this man. You know, actually, I'm a, I'm gonna start there. Because I want to get the account in Ezra. This is uh, Acts chapter 5 and verse 38. <clears throat> and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or, or this work be of men, it will come to naught. You see? So it says refrain from these men. If we're not the Israelites according to the Bible, you should just let us be. You see? But you spend so much time, so much effort into trying to, to disprove the legitimacy of, of, of our claim, <laughs> right? Let me do this. Boom. You see? If this was not, as it reads here, verse 39, but if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. And that's what it is. I'm at this point, I'm, I'm, I just believe vocab is, he's happy to fight against uh, uh, the Heavenly Father. You know? Because what Edomites, they, they, they don't believe in a higher power. And, and the fact that he keeps popping up randomly, it's like a, a, a whack-a-mole, man. You know, you whack a mole so many times, you know, they stay down for a while and then it pop back up. You got to whack his ass again. We be whacking you with the scriptures, man. So they're they're sent to frustrate the building of, of how about Shimon Shah, but you can't because in the in the past, it was a physical temple. They could actually lay hands on it. You know, they could fuck with us, you know, but now this is it. We we. Are building in the spirit. We're building spiritually. That's why Paul said, "If you, any man build upon the foundation, which is Yahweh Shai, gold, silver, hay, stubble, etc., etc., your work is going to be manifest in that fire." Right now, when we when we teach the one hundred percent truth and in, in, in uh, according to uh, scripture, uh, geological history, etc., we're building upon the foundation gold silver precious stones etc but they're trying to come in and throw mud hay <laughs> you know you can't you, you can't build with us man 
You can't build with us. There's a great go fix. You see? So I'm gonna grab these precepts. Ezra's four and one. Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple of the Lord, power of Israel, they came, then then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers, and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do, and we do sacrifice unto him since the days of as as had done king of Ashur, which brought us up thither. So they came to Zerubbabel and the, and the chief fathers, asking, "Hey, look, you know, they, they, it says what the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin." So Jake, out there, you gotta understand, we have enemies, man. Read Psalms eighty-three, gives you a whole list of them. So the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin tried to come in, right? But they were they 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 weren't trying to build. They were trying to fucking destroy it. Verse three. But Zerubbabel and uh, Joshua said, and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build in the house unto our God. But we ourselves together will build unto Yahweh, power of Israel, as King Cyrus, the, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. See? Because Cyrus ain't say, uh, you know, all people of all nations go help the Israelites build up there. No, he said of all that be of Israel, the stock of Abraham, etc., etc. You can go back to your land and, 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 and rebuild. That was who the, the message was for. It wasn't for everybody. It wasn't for everybody back then. And it damn sure ain't for everybody now because that's the only argument that they try to come with is the Gentiles. Oh, well, Gentiles can't come in. It says the Gentiles and receive salvation. But when you start to look up these words and you start to really line these precepts up, you start to see, wait a minute. Yeah, this is talking about Israelites. It's always talking about Israelites until it's not. When it says that the, uh, the heathen shall, shall uh, you know, dwell in the land until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Or, um, you know, how the, the, the Lord was, you know, putting in the hands of the, of the Gentiles, etc. When it's talking about actual, you have, that's why you have to, you have to um, have the right context. When it's talking about the, 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 the branches grafted in and all these... It, it, how can you be grafted into something that you were never involved with? So this is verse four. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building. So they still did it. So that's what the idea that they're coming with. They're trying to trouble the hands of, of the prophets that's out there on the highways and byways. They're trying to trouble uh, uh, the, 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 the followers. You know, what, what did Amalek do when we came out of Egypt? They smote the, hind, the, the most hindered part of, of us, the older, right? The elderly. And uh, uh, I think it was the elderly. That's the same mentality, man. So I got a few presets. I'm going to just grab these. First Corinthians 3 and 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? And that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. You see? So we're at the temple now. You see? Yahweh Shai is the high priest. That's why the scriptures say. Uh, uh, Romans the 12th chapter. Present your body as a living sacrifice. That's why we go on the highways and byways. That's why we fast. That's why we pray. That's why we. Um, you know. Refrain from defiling our temples. Because the whole. It says what? And that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. The Lord hath given us the Holy Spirit. That which, uh, which allows us to understand his word, which allows us to teach, and, and it gives us all understanding. But but these heathen, they don't have, they don't have uh, the Holy Spirit, man. Because uh, this is only for Israel. This is 1 Peter 2 and 5. Ye also as lively stones are built up in the spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai, the anointed. 
So they can no longer hinder us. The only thing that they can try to do is put hands on us, man. Through the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, our faith has been built up. Well, you can't trick us with the bullshit, man. You can't. Oh, what? We're not Israelites? Damn, man. I thought we really had it. No. We got it, man. The spirit of life have, have, have been poured back upon the, the men, women, and children who, who, who the Heavenly Father wants out of his nation. And then you got the unwanted, the deplorables. That's not going to get it. The two-third. But you, 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 hey, you can't stop this, man. You can't. Your arms is too, too short to box with God. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. That's why you can't come out there talking about the Gentiles. This is Gentiles. That is Judas a saint. You know, you coming up with all these random questions, right? How we're, uh, uh, oh, Ariel's a false prophet and this and that and all these different things you're saying, but you can't disprove that we're the Israelites. We know we are the Israelites by faith. We got, we got, we got the receipts, man. We got the scriptures, the curses, Deuteronomy 28, uh, I think it's 43. And these curses shall be upon thee as a sign. Let me go there. 28. I think it's 43. Nope. 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And we have been destroyed, man. Our people have been overtook. Look at the estate of the, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man. Because thou hearkenest not unto the, the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he command, command thee. And they shall be upon thee as a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. See that? So that's how we know. So when you go through these curses and you see a, a, high, a byword, a proverb, you're cursing the city, cursing the field, right? All these different things that 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 the curses is oh yeah your, your, your wife ain't gonna be your wife it's gonna be, you know somebody's gonna come up and eat up your fruit the fruit of your, your vineyard all these different things that's what happened to Jake that's what happened to us you shall go into Egypt again with ships you shall never see it again <laughs> right we have not seen the land of Israel since we left. We went into captivity in America with slave ships, the transatlantic slave slave trade. Nobody else can 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 you can't mess with us, man. The Lord gave us the tools to combat and defend ourselves until He come. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the, the pulling down the strongholds. Um, is that it? Two and nine. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. You see? We got something to look forward to. Right? We have the vision. We can foresee uh, 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 castles of, of gold and streets paved with gold. We can foresee uh, servants and slaves. We can foresee being on, on thrones with scepters, bashing the heathen's head. In. We can foresee our shot coming back with the, with, with the clouds of heaven. Uh, Revelation 1 and 7. But I'm not a rapper. Verse 10. But the Most High revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yeah, the deep things of the Most High. You see? So the Lord, he revealed it through his spirit, man. This word, Romans 8 and 16, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So, you know, uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, the most high is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. So, you know, I was going to start with that one because that, that, that was a sure confusion, man. You came up, you know, you got boggled. And you started to, <laughs> you know, you was on your back foot, 
when you felt like you just need to start throwing questions out there. And you have you know you got the silly Jakes who, who man look, if you can't get it, man, just give up. You know, if if you want to believe that Jesus came for everybody, so be it. We know the truth. We know who the, the Messiah is. We know his real name. We know who he's coming for. And he damn sure ain't coming for no Edomites, man. So I want to give all praises again to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Shemachadash, Shalom.